Hello, I'll be talking about my research project, which I'll be focusing on Filipino art. So a little bit about me, I am a junior at UTSA. I'm majoring in education, um, focusing on fourth through eighth grade math and science, but I am hoping that I'll be able to branch out and teach some art classes in the future. Since I grew up as a military child, I was able to live in places like Japan, New York, um, here in Texas, and I've obviously seen a lot of different types of art, but since I am half Filipino and half Japanese, I wanted to focus on one of those two cultures to dive more into what kind of art that they produced. Um, in the next couple pictures, I'll be showing the work of Pasita Abad, and she is a Filipino-American artist who grew up mostly in the Philippines and then made her way to America, but she also was able to live all over the world in a ton of different countries and do some works focused on their art and politics. So this first painting was created in 1979. It is titled Watching and Waiting, and it was um, shown in an exhibition called Portraits of Kampuchea. This next piece was also made in 1979, and this one is titled Women in Burka. Then this piece is called L.A. Liberty, and it was made in 1992. I really liked how she used the Statue of Liberty in this one, as she is Asian American, um, and also the way that she used color and texture and all these patterns. This next piece is titled Wheels of Fortune, and it was made in 2002. As you can see, as, over time she did branch out and started moving towards um, all these colorful patterns and using a lot of geometric shapes. And in this last piece, uh, Abad titled this one Glorious Blue, and she made it in 2003. Overall, I'm very excited to get to know more about her work and her life and how she was able to create all of these amazing works of art.